solubility chart. It is a chart with a list of ions and how they can become precipitate or remain aqueous. The following are the solubility rules for common ionic solids. If their two rules appear to contradict each other, the preceding rule takes precedence. 1. All compounds of group 1A elements are soluble. Also, compounds containing the ammonium ion are also soluble. Example. Sodium chloride. Since sodium is in group 1A, then sodium chloride is soluble. Because all compounds containing group 1A elements are soluble as per rule 1 of solubility rules. Next example. Francium bromide, ammonium iodide, cesium nitride, all are soluble because francium, cesium are elements in group 1A and ammonium is an additional. 2. All compounds of nitrate ion are generally soluble. Example. Sodium nitrate. From rule number 1, sodium is in group 1A where all compounds are soluble, therefore sodium nitrate is soluble, plus rule number 2, all nitrate compounds are soluble. So with zinc nitrate, aluminum nitrate, cesium nitrates and other compounds containing nitrates. 3. All common acetates are soluble. Let's reuse the metal elements or the cations, just change the polyatomic anions into acetate. Example. Sodium acetate, zinc acetate, aluminum acetate, cesium acetate and all other compounds containing acetate. All are soluble. 4. All perchlorates are soluble. Let's again. Reuse the metal elements or the cations, just change the polyatomic anions into perchlorate. Example. Sodium perchlorate, zinc perchlorate, aluminum perchlorate, cesium perchlorate and all other compounds containing perchlorate. All are soluble. 5. All common chlorides are soluble. Example. Sodium chlorides, zinc chlorides, aluminum chlorides, cesium chlorides and all other compounds containing perchlorate. All are soluble, except chloride compounds with silver, lead, copper, and mercury. Like silver chloride, lead chloride, copper chloride, and mercury chloride. These are insoluble. 6. All common iodide are soluble. Example. Silver bromide, lead bromide, copper bromide, and mercury bromide. These are insoluble. Other than those mentioned, all are soluble, like potassium bromide, calcium bromide, iron bromide, magnesium bromide. These are soluble. 7. All common iodide are soluble. Example. Potassium iodide, calcium iodide, iron iodide, magnesium iodide. These are soluble, and all other compounds containing iodine, except, with silver, lead, copper, and mercury. Like silver iodide, lead iodide, copper iodide, and mercury iodide. These are insoluble. 8. Most sulfate salts are soluble. Important exceptions to this rule include calcium, barium, lead, silver and strontium. Example. Silver sulfate, lead sulfate, copper sulfate, and mercury sulfate. Now, identify which of these are soluble and insoluble based on the rules. Silver sulfate, is it soluble or insoluble? That's, insoluble, very good. How about lead sulfate? Is lead exempted to the rule of sulfate being soluble? Yes. Very good. Therefore, lead sulfate is insoluble indeed. Now, the copper sulfate and mercury sulfate, are they soluble or insoluble? Indeed, they are soluble because they are not exempted from the rule of sulfate being soluble. Great job. 9. 
Let's have the insolubility rules. Most hydroxide salts are only slightly soluble. Hydroxide salts of group 1 elements are soluble. Hydroxide salts of group 2 elements are slightly soluble. Hydroxide salts of transition metals and aluminum are insoluble. Example. Silver hydroxide, lead hydroxide, copper hydroxide, and mercury hydroxide. Now, identify which of these are soluble and insoluble base on the rule. Again, based on the rule, all hydroxides are insoluble except for those hydroxide compounds with elements in group 1A and group 2A from calcium. Since, silver, lead, copper, and mercury are not in groups 1A and 2A, therefore, these are insoluble. Let's give another example. We have sodium hydroxide. Since sodium is in group 1A, it's indeed accepted to the insolubility rule of hydroxide. Hence, sodium hydroxide is soluble. How about calcium hydroxide? Of course, that is soluble, it's in group 2A as well. So with strontium hydroxide and radium hydroxide, these two are soluble. 10. Carbonates are frequently insoluble. Exemption to the rule are elements in group 1A and ammonium ion. Example. Sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate, strontium carbonate, and radium carbonate. Which among these are soluble and insoluble? Let's have sodium carbonate. Is sodium exempted from the insolubility rule of carbonate? Yes. Sodium is in group 1A. So, sodium carbonate is soluble. How about calcium carbonate? Is calcium exempted from the insolubility rule of carbonate? No, because it is not in group 1A. Hence, calcium carbonate is insoluble. Next, strontium carbonate. Same with calcium. Strontium is not in group 1A to become exempted from the insolubility of carbonate. That's why strontium carbonate is insoluble. Then, radium carbonate. Same with calcium and strontium, it is insoluble. 11. Most sulfides of transition metals are highly insoluble, except for the elements in groups 1A, 2A and ammonium ion. Example. Sodium sulfide, calcium sulfide, strontium sulfide, and radium sulfide. Which of these, is, are, soluble and insoluble? I will give you 10 seconds to think. And the answer is. All of them are soluble, because all of these are in group 1A and 2A, that make them exempted from the rule of sulfides being insoluble. Let's have examples of insoluble sulfides, like, zinc sulfide, aluminum sulfide, tin sulfide, and gold sulfide, these are soluble. Phosphates such as calcium phosphate and silver phosphate are frequently insoluble. Fluorides such as barium fluoride, magnesium fluoride, and lead fluoride are frequently insoluble. That's all for solubility rules. I guess, you're very much ready now. It's your turn. Comment your answer. Thank you. Hope you learned something valuable today. Please like and share. And if you are not a subscriber yet, kindly click the subscribe button, and thank you for doing so. Also, hit the notification bell for you to be updated with our next video tutorial in chemistry. Chemistry. Come and easy with Sir D.